Hi third graders. Happy May. By the time you guys watch this video, it will be May. Um, I thought it would be fun to kind of do a monthly reflection um, since we have been doing distance learning for quite a bit of time now. So I have different goals and challenges and feedback for you and a couple of reminders on how to prepare for the fourth grade. So once again, happy May. Here are two monthly goals that I would love for you guys to work on independently. I know that you guys are very independent students and I'm so confident you guys can do it. The first goal for the month of May, I would like you to read at least two chapter books this month so that you um, are not only working on your reading, but also having fun diving in a different novel that you maybe haven't read before. And then another goal I would like you to work on is to write more answers in cursive. So we've been doing lots of cursive practice together and I would like you to practice writing some answers in cursive, whether it's your do now, maybe you have short responses, maybe even some math word problems. I would love for you to practice those skills that I've been teaching you on the video, but also that you guys already know from before. Here are some challenges I would like you also to work on. I think that it's a pretty good challenge if you can hike at least once a week. Ms. Peterson loves to hike and there's lots of different trails around here in Phoenix that don't have to be hard, but in the month of May, I would like you to maybe challenge yourself to do it before it gets way too hot in the summer. Then another challenge I would like you to work on is help your parents out at home. Now, during this time, maybe they're helping you with your homework, with your studies. Maybe they're helping you write. I think it would be nice for you to help your parents and maybe give back so that they also feel special because they make you feel special. So once again, the two monthly goals I have for you guys for the month of May is to read at least two chapter books and then also write more answers in cursive so that you keep those cursive skills strong and that you can hopefully use them next year in fourth grade. Then two challenges. Once again, you don't have to do these challenges, but I challenge you to it is to hike at least once a week. It doesn't have to be a hard hike. It could be a nice trail walk, whatever you want to do. Then help your parents out at home since they're helping you out a lot with this distance learning. Then here are two other things I would like to talk about. First is I have some feedback for you guys. The first thing is keep up the good work you guys are doing awesome during this time and I'm so proud of you. The second thing, please continue to write complete sentences. This is in music, in art, with drama. And I know that Mrs. Valise has also wanted you to continue writing complete sentences for science responses. Please, please, please make sure that you continue to write incomplete sentences. Remember, using the question in your answer. That's how you write a complete sentence. Then punctuation. We're seeing lots of people kind of become lazy with punctuation. And if you have a hard time, using punctuation when you're typing, ask a parent, a sibling, or even your LET if you need help knowing how to use punctuation. Another thing, spelling. I know it's a little bit different when you're typing on the computer trying to find all the letters, but please make sure you're still looking at each and every word to make sure you spell it correctly. Otherwise, you guys are doing wonderful. A couple of reminders in preparation for fourth grade. The first thing, remember, there's no LETs next year. So you really, really, really got to work on that independence. I know that lots of you already are great at this. So remember that next year, there's not going to be any LETs for you to kind of lean back on. You're going to use your great independent skills that you guys have already started working on. The next thing is there are more classes, so organization is important. This is a great time for you to work on your organizational skills during this distance learning because you have many classes you have to organize your assignments around. 
whether you have a folder at home per class or you have a binder with the binders, it's up to you. But remember, next year it's really important to stay organized so that you can keep all of your classes separate. I also wanted to talk to you guys about your time management. Now, I know you still have your own schedule, which is great, but I have been noticing that there's lots of students who leave assignments to the very end and then you have so many assignments to turn in all at once. This is also a great time to um, use your time wisely. Maybe you do a little bit from each class each day and organize your time up well. Um, the CJ is a great resource where you can write in what you're going to do every day so that you keep it organized. I know when I was in college, if I had to write a 10 page paper, I started writing 10 days before it was due so that I only had to write one page per day so that it was easy for me and then I got it done and it was just a little by little each day. Otherwise, you guys are doing so great. I cannot believe we've made it to the month of May. The last time I saw you guys, it was actually the month of March, which is so wild. But I'm so proud of all of your hard work. And let's see how well your monthly goals and challenges go. And I will talk to you guys again. Bye.